start recording because we're going to post this on YouTube. And Bree, are you ready? Because I'm going to make you, I'm going to pin you up and I'm we're going to get going. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I am Brianna Engel. I am now not official official, but <laughs> a superstar director for Scented Dreamers and a superstar director here on School Life. Um, welcome to our final night of Leap to Lead. This was our four-week Leap to Lead program that began in the beginning of September. Um, and we just appreciate you guys so much for really diving into your business. Um, I feel like it's been a pretty steady um, group of people here, the same people keep coming, showing up, and we just really appreciate that, and thank you for dedicating your time, um, but where you're really going to see that effort and um, all of that payoff is inside your business as long as you put forth what you've learned here um, moving forward. So, super excited to see all you guys. Thank you for hopping on, taking time out of your busy, long Mondays. We so appreciate it. So, um, I'm just going to kind of just go over, not super in depth, but um, just kind of briefly talk about some of the things that we talked about in the last four weeks that um, are necessary to mention again um, for impact because with this Leap to Lead program, again, our, our uh, reason for wanting to do this was to give focus on essential and certified consultants and give them the necessary tools to go out and, and to start sponsoring and figure out what it looks like to be a leader and what does that look like moving forward as you continue to grow your team. Um, but those baby steps, right? And that always seems to be the hardest part. Joining is, um, joining can feel like the hardest part, but when you start to talk about wanting to grow a team and uh, build a business and stuff, that first step into sponsoring can be really the scary part. And so we really walk through um, what all of that looks like. And I feel like personally, I feel like we did a really great job of breaking it down, right? And so the first week we talked about PRV and um, because the basis of this business is getting your PRV, the first leg of success, right? That we talked about is PRV and you need to have a steady leg to stand on as far as your PRV because a lot of things ride on that, right? Your leadership numbers ride on that, that 500 PRV. Um, growing a team will mean nothing if you aren't getting paid a title. If you are not getting those leadership numbers in, growing a team, you're not, you're not benefiting from that um, as far as financially goes. And so um, you're leaving money on the table. And there's a lot of reasons that people grow teams. And there's a lot of really beautiful benefits from it. But when we're talking money, and we're talking about longevity of a business, um, you have to be able to look at that monetary aspect realistically. And the way that our compensation plan is set up, um, which is an amazing compensation plan, your PRV, what you are doing in your own business has to be right. Okay, so um, we talked about a lot of ways to do that. And um, throughout all of this, I just want to say and remind you guys, no matter where you are in your business, whether you are an essential consultant, you're a star consultant, superstar director, all of this, um, everything that we're talking about as far as what to do in your business, what to do in sponsoring, what to do in coaching and moving beyond, um, all of it is not a matter of um, skill because you can learn skill. It's a matter of will, okay? Will you learn? to obtain those tools to be able to go forward. And that's why we do these programs because we recognize not everybody just instantly knows, okay? Uh, let me just be very real with you. A lot of us don't know just right off the bat. We didn't hit the join button and say, oh my gosh, I instantly know what to do. I know how to grow a team. I know how to um, get all my PRV. I know how to book parties. I know how to have these join conversations. Like, I don't think there's any of us who felt that way. And so as we step into this, we have to recognize that where it starts is having the will to be able to learn the skills, okay? And so, um, and that's why I'm so glad that all of you have shown up and, um, really dug your heels into it. So again, appreciate that. Um, but just remember throughout everything that you're going to do in Sensi, no matter um, if it's a leap to lead program, if it's sponsoring, if it's coaching, if it's promoting all the way to the top, like all of that, you're going to go through steps where you're not going to know how to do something. And it's not a matter of, I don't have the skill. I don't have the way to do this. It's, will you find a way to do it? Okay. Will you reach out and get those tools? Okay. So um, the second week we talked about sponsoring, right? Because that is the next step. That's when you become a lead consultant is when you start sponsoring. Um, and obviously you step into leadership. Um, and so we talked about your list of 100, your why. And we're, um, 
the directors here are going to be talking to you tonight about our why and why that's so impactful. And so we do feel like that that's a huge part of your story and how you can not only sponsor people, but how your PRV can be impacted by your why as well. Okay. So um, having relationships with your customers, that's a big, big deal. Okay. Um, going for the no excuse busters, join packets. Why do we create them? How do we give them out? Like, what does it mean to have that stuff ready to go and be prepared to walk into conversations and then give them tangible things to be able to look at going forward? Um, we talked about party flipping and the host kits um, and then sharing the Sensi life, okay? Living the Sensi brand. That is so important um, because this is a lifestyle. Sensi is a lifestyle and that's the beautiful part about it is no matter where you're walking on your journey, um, no matter how crazy your life looks, no matter um, where, you're, where you're at in your life, you can encompass the Sensi life and make it your own. And the more that you share that, the more people you will impact by doing that, okay? And so um, in that, you can share your why and continue to grow strong relationships with people that turn into PRV or that turn into um, sponsoring conversations. So, um, and then last week we talked about new consultant training, okay? So once we get into that after the sponsoring part and we're starting to have those conversations and people are starting to join us on our journey, what does it look like to have new consultants? How do we train them? How do we um, create boundaries that are healthy for a business? How do we make systems that are replicatable um, that we can duplicate moving forward when it's a team of 10 or a team of 100? Like, what does that look like for us? And so finding that system that fits you, okay? Um, and then we talked about coaching versus co-piloting, right? So what, what seat are you sitting in right now with your teamies? How are we being the best co-pilot or the best coach? And do we need to switch roles? And who do we switch roles with? Um, and then boundaries and um, communicating with our team, right? And following up with them. So um, like I said, that was just like a really quick recap. So if you're catching this and this is your first one, I hope that that encourages encourages you to go back and watch the others because as you can see there was a lot of content packed into four weeks three weeks um of this month and so there's just a lot of stuff to go over but i promise you you will be fed each and every single time you watch the video because there's just something new that you'll be able to take from it um so tonight we're talking about um, the directors here, Alex, Mandy, myself, Brandy, Mariah, Teresa, and um, one of our superstar directors in our upline, Jennifer Martin, is here to share our um, stories, our own personal stories, because like I said, we recognize that um, we all have different walks of life, right? We've all created um, some sort of sensey story that is uh, special to us, and it all began with why we pressed that join button, right? And so we just felt like that it was a good way for maybe some of you to connect with us who don't know us that well, um, but also because we want to lead by example and being transparent in our own stories um, and just recognizing that knowing your why in your heart is going to be a strong foundation for where this all starts, right? So with that being said, I'm the first to go. I don't know why we planned it this way, but. Uh, okay. <sighs> that was a lot. I'm like, gassed out already. Um, okay, so I started almost, oh, a little over three years ago. I started September 7th of 2017. Um, I knew about Sensi. Um, because when we were in the military, one of my good friends, uh, she bought Sensi from other military wives that sold it on base. Um, and she would always have it in her home. And I would kind of turn my nose up at her and make fun of her because we were both bringing in the same military paycheck where our husbands were. And it wasn't very much. And I'm like, girl, why are you spending so much on Sensi? You can just go to Walmart and get that Walmart wax. And it's $2 and it's super cheap. I was the worst friend, you guys. <laughs> I really was, but <laughs> she would warm blueberry cheesecake and it was just, it, it, that was my memory of Sensi, okay? And then fast forward to, uh, we got out of military in 2012. So fast forward to years later. Um, and I just was really, I mean, years later to, it was three kids later. I'd been married for some years um, and seven years, seven years. Um, 
And I had been a stay at home mom and wife all that time. And that was my dream growing up. I, that's what I wanted to do. Um, but no one ever told me how much of your identity you can lose in being just a mom and a wife, not just, but being a mom and a wife can be very like where I've lost myself a little bit. I've lost my creativity. I've, I've um, melted into this person who just gets lost in a routine of changing diapers and cooking dinner and, you know, making beds and all this stuff. So I decided that um, I wanted to do something for me and I went up searching a little bit and I was trying to find stuff that I was into. Um, and I was into another direct sale company and my husband was like, nope, we're not doing that. And he was very like side eye about direct sales, 100%. He didn't want me to get involved with it. Um, and me and Alex had met on a mom app, like I, when Noah was a baby and we weren't super close, but when that app went away, we started following each other on Instagram. And again, didn't talk a whole lot. I don't know if ever on Instagram. And I was just scrolling one day and I saw her post something about a join, a join flyer on Sensi. And so before I said anything to her, before I said anything to my husband, I look, I did my research on it because I know my husband and he's going to ask all the questions about what, what is Sensi, like what's their background look like? Are they a stable company? All this stuff. So I did my research, came back to my husband, presented him with all my facts. And, um, he said, okay, well, you know, it's $99, but you don't have a whole lot to lose because there's no cancellation fee. There's no, you know, there's no real risk because you'll get all the product anyways. And I was like, okay, cool. So, um, I think I messaged Alex and was like, okay, I want to join. And I did. And, um, it was great. Like it, I literally just joined because I just wanted something for myself. Like literally that was it. You guys, um, I had no interest in, in growing a team. Okay. That might be real funny to some of y'all, but I really had zero interest in building a team. I thought that was like ick because I didn't want to be that person who chased after people. I didn't want to be that person who was like, come join my team. Like no, I didn't need all of that. Um, what I did love right off the bat was that as soon as I announced that I was a Sensi consultant, man, people came out of the woodwork and people saw how excited I was. And I immediately shared my why when I joined. I said, I'm joining Sensi because I want something for me, y'all. Like I want to be able to spend time with my friends and have it be productive, right? So like talking home parties, I wanted to be able to like bring home a paycheck after that. You know, I'm with my friends anyways. So, um, you know, fast forward, I think Alex talked to me about shooting star and stuff like that. But I just was like, I saw it on my workstation and I said, man, I'm just going to go for it. Like I, I can hit these goals or I can, I'm going to be so proud of myself if I do, because I, I wasn't, I'm a goal oriented person, but I've fallen short a lot in my life. Um, but I'm also an Enneagram three and I love to win. So, um, I went after it and I hit shooting star. I hit sensational star at level one, two, and three. Um, I did $1,700 in my first month and I said, okay, all right, this is going pretty well. Like I'm kind of excited about this. Like money's not bad. Um, and then fast forward a little bit to November, December ish, I pulled up my incentive tracker and said, whoa, okay. We're in the middle of an incentive period. I don't know that I knew that. I didn't even know since he did trips. And I looked at my husband, I was like, look how close I am because in October, Melissa joined, she was my first teammate. And you guys, again, I didn't join, I didn't join so I could have people on my team, but Melissa was like, I, I'm, I'm a stay at home mom. I want to do something else. I want to have another purpose. Can I join with you? Heck yeah, you can. Sure. Why not? It's fine. We'll just do it together. So, um, she joined in October, had a couple more girls join. And then November, December comes around and I look at my incentive tracker and realize that I'm like three quarters of the way there of earning a seven day Mediterranean cruise for myself completely paid for. And I was like, sit straight up. Okay, well, I, I'm going to do this then. Like, and I was like, I'm going by myself. If you can't come, like I'm going on this cruise because I earned it, you know? So the incentive ended in January. I did end up earning it for myself. Um, and we, actually bought my husband in and there was, it was like this weird thing when he went on this cruise because we paid money for him to be there, but also it was like free for me. Um, but it was in that moment that I think that my husband actually realized like, this is the real deal. Like the way Sensi treats you, the way this company is ran, the way they, what the way Heidi and Orville talk to you, like 
that's unlike any other company ever. And and he's like, this is, this is incredible. Like, if this is what you want to do, like, I, I'm here to support it 100%. And um, what's that saying? The rest is history, I guess. I, <laughs> um, I, I mean, it kind of just snowballed from there, you guys. Because after that first cruise, I, I told my husband, I said, I will never earn another incentive trip and not, not get you a spot, okay? You will always be able to go with me for free. I will earn every single incentive. I'm going to SFR. I went to SFR in 2018 um, and I've been to every single one since and because there was just there was just something different about it once you experience the company of Sensi. and so you know I said I didn't want to join for the team but after spending time with Melissa and some of my other girls who joined right off the bat I recognized how excited I got I, I got really excited for my own journey but there's something about having a team where you can get excited for them and that's like a whole nother level of excitement you guys so like when we talk about leap to lead like y'all what we didn't cover a whole lot was the benefit of being able to cheer on other people that you love and care about like watching their dreams come true watching them hit their goals like i gotta tell you even now like i i am like out of my mind when somebody's like i'm this close to a goal or i just hit i'm like <laughs> like freak out because it's just like the best feeling because even though you may have had maybe you feel like you have a small part in it you just want to be like the loudest cheerleader ever and i experience that time and time and time again and i'm like okay well i'm not i don't want people to join my team to join my team i want people to join because i want them to experience this feeling that sensi gives to you and sensi provides to your for your life but then i also want them to grow a team because i want them to know this feeling of like your heart swelling it's like when you have a bunch of babies and you're like i don't know if i could have room for more love in my heart but you do right so Anyways, you guys, I just, every single goal, I just wanted to hit every single thing that Sensi put in front of me. And I wanted to speak at World Tour. I wanted to speak at SFR. I wanted to talk to other people. And I, yeah, uh, my, my why was because I'm a mom and because I lost my identity, I think a little bit. Um, but then I fell in love with the business. Then I fell in love with my customers. Then I fell in love with the people in Sensi. Then I fell in love with the people who were joining Sensi around me. And now I have all of that. Plus I'm in, I'm in love with the incentive tricks. Like I, I never thought that it'd be possible for me and my husband to be able to travel um, at 30 years old with three small children for free. Like I never thought we'd ever be able to do that. When we talked about traveling, it was when we're retired, right? And he's like, am I, am I gonna have to carry you up this like hill at some point, you know, or like we're gonna be able to walk and, and to be able to do that now. I mean, everybody has that something that they're like, man, I, I hope I get to do this right before my life is over or before I get too old or whatever. And traveling was that for us. And so, um, doing that alongside my husband and to be able to give him that when he has worked so hard to provide for our family um, and has allowed me the opportunity to stay at home, which I don't take for granted, but it's amazing to be able to give that back to him. And so, um, you know, I, it's weird because I don't know necessarily what to say in between that first incentive trip and now, and like what has happened um, or where my why has I can't like necessarily pinpoint a time where it's all changed because it just feels like a blink of an eye. And here I am like unofficially superstar director. Like I, I don't necessarily like, <laughs> it's still weird for me to connect those dots to be completely honest with you because I just, I, I still feel like a giddy lead consultant inside, like excited about the next person who's joining my team. So, um, you know, my story is just one of be excited about what's next, right? So like, just be excited for what's around the corner every time. Like, I know Mariah had said, when you reach that goal, or it was at like SFR or something, when you reach that promotion, dream up, dream up another one or something like that. It was something to that effect. And it's just like, I just get excited 
around every corner, right? After an incentive trip, I'm like, okay, what's the next one? Like, what are we doing next? Like, what, what do I have looked forward to? What am I working towards now? And it's just so exciting. Every little milestone is so exciting. So if I can offer up anything to take away from my story um, that I don't feel like is like all that like special to be completely honest with you, but if I can tell you anything to take away from my story, I would just say to get excited about every little thing, okay? Because everything is a milestone. Everything is a big deal, okay? Because there are people who don't reach it. There are people who don't reach shooting star. There are people who don't reach star consultant. There are people who don't reach director. So you are one of few and get excited about that. And then get excited about the next thing that you put in front of yourself. And even if you fall short, get excited about getting there one day, put that day in writing, but be excited about getting there. Okay. So that's for me, that's where I come from. It's just that like level of excitement um, about every little thing that's coming. So that's my spiel. So Mariah is going to go on next and tell you about her story. Hey y'all, so my name is Mariah Paisano. Uh, I am a star director um, and super blessed to be one. Um, so my why I feel like has changed dramatically from when I first started it. Yeah, it, it has. So when I first started, um, I was a new wife. Uh, really a lot of time by myself. My family had just moved to Ohio. All of us have grown up and live in California our whole lives. My dad got a job opportunity. I just got married and they leave me. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then my husband is in law enforcement working graves. So for sure I was alone a lot. Uh, and he tried like inspiring me like they find something and I will back you 100%. So I'm like, okay, like, what do I want to do? And I was just kind of searching and praying like, okay, what is next? Like, I felt just alone and like, I didn't know what to do. And so um, Bree's one of my besties. And so I saw her doing it. And it really clicked clicked one day um, when I was like, hey, I'm bored. Can I come over? <laughs> She's like, okay. And uh, I saw her like putting orders together. And I was like, it just clicked like this is what I want to do like I had watched her done all the things and it just saw I just saw that and I'm like I can do this this is so practical like what have I been waiting for and so I uh, went home and told my husband he was on board and um, at that time uh, we were trying to have a family and I thought I would never be a mom because I was diagnosed with unexplained infertility, had three miscarriages back to back. And so again, just the spiral of like, what the heck? So Sensi was really my anchor to focus on during that um, really horrible and traumatic time. And then we had our little miracle boy, Titus, and uh, just ecstatic. And when I had him, I was like, another why like he is my why like I'm a mom I never thought I was going to be a mom like I just took the business more serious I guess because I knew like I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom because I thought I would never was going to be a mom so I really wanted to be like intentional with my babies and there and not miss anything and so uh my husband was like okay well if you get to like a point where your paychecks you know allow that like sure you can stay home and so uh, then I got pregnant, <laughs> surprise, right after Titus was born. Uh, Titus was only four months and then I uh, got pregnant with Gideon. And um, then, so when Titus was two months is when I was actually officially able to leave my desk job, be a stay at home mom to him and then through my pregnancy and still, so both babies are one and a half and seven months. And I am very blessed to be a stay at home mom. And um, so I feel like it's just ever changing. Like, you know, I was just by myself and a new wife at the time. And now I'm a mom and, and juggling all like the stay at home mom duties plus you know, a thriving business. And so um, just super blessed. I didn't really think of the whole team thing either when I joined. Uh, you know, I saw Brie doing her thing, but I was like, what do I have to offer people? And now you guys, seriously, I cry with my girls. I jump with excitement with my girls. Like it has seriously enriched my life. 100% in ways that I did not think possible. And the relationships I have with my customers, it's just, 
I won um, the cruise that we didn't get to go on this year, but just like, I was like, what? I did that? Like, that is just so crazy. Um, never thought that was possible ever, ever. And so, um, and then to be here now, like, it's just, it is a title, but it's an honor, 100%. Like, and to just have the most amazing team who shows up every day and just works so hard um, is another part of my why. And so I love you guys. For those that are watching that are on my personal team, um, you guys are definitely my why too. So that's my story. Okay, I think Mandy, you're next girl, so I'm going to spotlight you. Got you. Let's see if I unmute myself. Yes. I'm going to go back to smaller view of all of you because I don't like looking at my giant face on my computer. <laughs> um, all right, there we go. Okay, so I met Alex on Instagram when she was just a tiny little baby. And um, I was a relatively new mama and um, she was pregnant with her first baby. And I think she looked up like boy mom hashtags or something. She found me somehow and I was another mom to a little boy. Um, and then over time, like we talked a lot and we started, um, working out after our babies had both been born and we became like fit sisters. Um, I laugh at the name now, but I mean, it was a wonderful group for what it was at the time. They were what I needed. Um, and then Alex kind of ditched us when she joined Sensi. <laughs> um, I mean, it's true. And um, she, uh, was like telling me about it and she was super excited like she's like I've never used it before but I'm super excited and I was like cool I don't want it <laughs> but then I think I bought from like one of her first parties because I loved her and I wanted to buy something so I bought a warmer and I always let Alex pick out all my scents um, I knew nothing else of Scentsy except that my mom was gifted a warmer years ago and sold it at a garage sale like that's all I knew <laughs> it was ugly it was like one of those like OG oh, ugly um and so I always let Alex pick out my scents and she only failed me one time um and <laughs> so then was she probably sent me like join information in the mail like with samples probably three or four times and had a couple like messages where she'd be like, I think you'd be really good at this. You're a stay at home mom. And I'd be like, right, okay. <laughs> and I'd throw them in the trash and we'd carry on. She's still my girl. And then I got pregnant when my oldest was seven. Um, I have really, really complicated pregnancies. They're um, high risk and I'm sick all the time. So I was pregnant with my youngest and Alex was cruising the Mediterranean and I got like mega jealous at her life. <laughs> and I wrote her a message and actually because we mostly just text, so I was really able, like pulled up our message history. So I basically just said, hey girl, I'm loving how happy and relaxed you look. What a beautiful trip you're on. When you get back, send me info about joining your team. And then I did the little monkey with my eyes covered because it still freaked me out. Um, I said, I'm still in that doubt. I'll be very successful mindset, but at least maybe I can do something. And I think we're, we're, we hear that a lot from all of us. Like we just wanted to do something. And it's so true because as moms, as wives, as whatever, as sitting at our office desks, we want to do something more. And so I said, I know my attitude needs to change, but I'm pregnant. So I was like, I can, I can have an attitude if I want. Um, so she wrote me back, um, 
the next day because they were seven hours ahead and she was so excited and she sent me like this message that was huge and told me all the details and so i was like all right let me talk to my husband about the details and i'll get back to you and i think i joined i was like three weeks later it wasn't like instant um and i joined when i was on vacation and like seven seven months pregnant i think and i um, I didn't really do anything. I didn't like, <laughs> I wasn't like hitting goals. I was on vacation for 12 days. So my 15 day goal was like non-existent because I was gone. So my mom ordered something from me on like the last day of the month. So my first paycheck was $11, which was like, look, I've arrived. I'm making paychecks now because I haven't worked for eight years at that point. Um, and I always felt like guilty. My husband never, never made me feel that way. Um, I felt that way. I felt guilty for like shopping when he's the only one that's bringing in income or getting, you know, something that we didn't need, but that I wanted or whatever. Um, and so then like everybody else said, like a team wasn't really at the forefront of my mind. I needed to have this baby. Um, I did like my launch party open house. I did hit sensational start level one. Um, then I had one home party. It is still, you guys, I've been with Cincy a little over two years. That one home party is still the only home party I've ever done. Like that's insane to me and not, it should not be typical, but with how everything went with my life and my schedule, like I had events, like I would do uh, like a vendor show or something, or I'd have open houses at my own home, but I had like, everything was online. Um, but I also struggled with like severe social anxiety at the time. And I didn't want to meet people and I didn't want to ask them to buy from me. And I didn't want to be out there and doing the things. I just wanted like my special little people to buy from me if they wanted. And that was it. And so my numbers were getting consistently higher and higher. And I would get, I would get Alex's little postcards that would say like number three, number three on your first <laughs> just come and stop by and visit me. Yeah, Tiffany just wrote that comment. Like, I would literally be like, Tiffany, you can come smell the things at my house. Like, I'm here, come by for me. And she did, um, but she's my friend and it's not typical, right? So <sighs> I would get the postcards from Alex and it would say, you know, you're number three on, the te on my team. And then on the back, it would be like, time to grow your team, girl. And I'd be like, yep. I'll, I'll do that. I'll have some join conversations. And then they'd all say no. And I'd be like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get the no anymore. I was so afraid of the no. I was so afraid of rejection. And so um, I don't know if it was just Sensi over time and being part of like the True Life page and being inspired by other people that were going for it. Um, also, I built a really good community around um, my church family and uh, my friendships that I had made there. So I was feeling more confident in being around people and my anxiety was like, you know, taking a back seat finally. Um, Tiffany did say no to me five times. I said no to Alex for three years. Tiffany said no to me for a full year. And then she joined another direct sales company. And we aren't going to talk about that because I was a little offended. Um, <laughs> but then look where she is now. Um, so after um, we got shut down in lockdown, <laughs> I was actually in a really, really good place. I know that COVID was super, super hard for most people and it still is. Um, and my husband is blessed to be able to work from home. Um, it's the most family time we've ever had. Um, I get my whole family for dinner, which I've never had before. Um, we're all together. And I was able to focus on what I wanted um, and really reach out to people. 
And so in May, it was just me. May 1st, it was just, just me doing my thing. And then I had four people join in May. And I saw that first check that was when I hit lead. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> look, they were all my best customers that joined me. And I didn't say, I'm going to lose all that PRV. Like that was my thought for a year. I'm going to lose all of that PRV. How am I going to get sales? And then my best people joined and my checks doubled and then my checks tripled. And I was like, wait, um, we paid off my car early. We paid off my student loans early. Uh, we're working on paying down other unfortunate debt that we've had for a while. Um, it's just been a really big blessing, but I think more than that, it's given me the confidence. It's given me something to do is become something that I want to do and something that I need to do. My husband lost all of his travel expenses, um, due to COVID and, um, my checks since we've been in, you know, the lockdown mode, um, have taken care of what we lost for his travel expenses. So I would love to get to the point where it's more than that. Um, and I am, I'm getting there. So we are now, um, I have a team of 16 under me um, and we are on director watch. So I appreciate the girls um, putting me in this little group here and including me <laughs> when I wasn't quite there yet. Um, but we are, hopefully going to get it tomorrow because I think we're we're going to be in the 300s tonight <laughs> so that's it um I'm going to lock in Disney I'm going to travel I'm going to bless my family and I love my team so much they are such hard workers and they love what they do and it shows and I think like everybody else said like I get so excited for all of them. I get so excited for them. Like when Tiffany hit lead, I was like jumping in my living room, texting her. I was like, you did it. You did it. <laughs> like She was like, I did like, I <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just, it's a really, really great opportunity. I went over my time. Sorry, but I'm going to give it to Brandy. Who's another amazing cheerleader. <laughs> Hold on. Hi guys. Where are you, Brandy? Oh, there you are. Okay. I'm hiding over here. <laughs> Found you. Hi guys. Most of you have seen my name about 500 billion trillion times, but um, my story is crazy and up and down and <laughs> everywhere. Honestly, when I started, um. I was watching my friend's daughter and she had just started selling Scentsy and she's like, Hey, I'm going camping this weekend. Like, how about I drop my testers off? Like I'm a boy mom. She's like, Hey, you're always looking for something. Like, so she dropped off my testers for the weekend while she was gone camping. Me and my husband spent over an hour smelling every single one of them and making piles of which ones we liked. And like $150 later, he looked at me and he was like, why couldn't you do this? And I'm like, bro, you're crazy. What are you talking about? Like, then I have to people. And I told him he was nuts for like a month and a half, probably. And then one day I finally asked her, I was like, okay, talk to me. Tell me what, tell me what it takes. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me all the things I need to know. And we chatted. And then I think Three weeks later, I was sitting on the couch with my husband and he's like, are you ever going to join? Like, are you just going to keep ordering and spending money? Or are you going to start making money back off these orders? He's like, even if you don't do big things, like make a percentage back on our own stuff now that we're addicted to this wax. So it was like literally like 11 o'clock at night. I'm getting ready to go to bed and I'm like, mm, going to do it. Why not? Sure. And then I said, filled out all the stuff and I could not press join you guys like for whatever reason I could not commit and finally he reaches over across me and he presses join for me and I'm like 
what did you just do? And he's like, you said you're going to do it enough, do it. So here I am. That was July of last year. I, like the other girls, had no intentions of growing a team. Literally no interest in a team. I'm barely responsible for myself and my kids some days. I didn't want to have that on my shoulders. Um, my backstory is crazy. I grew up in a very abusive environment. I had my son in high school, my oldest, who is now 15. Um, my brother was killed right before my oldest son was born. And life just went crazy and I went off the deep end. And so I've always been like hesitant to have anyone else on my shoulders anymore other than my babies because I didn't know how I was gonna get through the day some days. Um, I'm going to cry, you guys. Um, I, I went off the deep end. I really did. Um, I got into drugs and partying and a whole bunch of stuff that was no good for me. Uh, I got clean twice before it finally stuck. <laughs> I just celebrated my five year sober. Okay, clean, not sober. I still drink. I ain't going to lie. I got four boys, guys. <laughs> Um, I just celebrated my five years on the 20th of this month and between the confidence since he has given me and the life with my boys, everything has changed for me. It's, it's been crazy. Um, my boys are eight and is 15. Hunter is just turned four in July. Uh, most people know that are on my personal page, Hunter has Down Syndrome, and I'm a huge Down Syndrome ad advocate. It's like, it's been a big deal for me. Um, he had a major heart defect. They thought he was going to need open heart surgery when he was an infant. He ended up not needing it. We got him through. Um, when Hunter was 16 months old, Jackson was born. And we, we wanted to have them close together so that our next baby would help Hunter along. Um, we read all the things, we did all the research, thought that, hey, he's, he's going to need someone to help push him along that's his age. So we had another boy back to back. And then surprise, little Mr. Elijah was born 16 months later. <laughs> so um, it's wild at my house, you guys. I... I literally hide in my oldest son's room to do these trainings. Um, it's been a wild ride, but Sensi has brought me not only something to do, but something to look forward to, something I hold myself accountable to, because I am so flippin' proud of everything I've accomplished in the last year and a half. I... I cannot believe that I really thought I was going to do nothing with this business and I have grown to being a director and meeting some of my very best friends. Um, I told myself I wasn't going to cry, sorry. <laughs> um, I just not only found my why for my business, but I found a why for myself and my own life. And I just, I don't know, I, I've built amazing friendships and amazing relationships and a crazy awesome team. Y'all, my team, I just, I'm blown away every day when I log in and I see what they're doing. I still can't believe, like, they look up to me and like, what are you guys crazy? Like, don't do it. I'm crazy. <laughs> but they do. And I'm so thankful that they believe in me. And I'm so thankful to do this with them and with all of you guys. If you guys take anything away from my crazy whirlwind of a life, know that nothing will stand in your way unless you let it. You, it might be hard. It might be some days you might not even want to get up and do anything. But hold yourself accountable to yourself. Nobody else. Don't worry about what your director wants from you, what your friends think, what anyone else thinks. Like, uh, <laughs> do it for you regardless of anything else do it for you like y'all i have never met half these girls in person but i tell you what 
I do happy dances with them. We cheer together. <laughs> when I promoted to director, I got the biggest tub of banana Laffy Taffy from Mandy because of a conversation we had had on a post like months beforehand about candy and what candy was the description of 2020, I think it was. <laughs> And she hated banana laugh taffy and I said I loved it and sure enough I literally you guys got a tub like this big show up in this huge Amazon box and uh, I just the relationships I have built and the confidence I have got back is everything to me and I really hope that you guys find what motivates you and you stick to it whether you never go above a certified consultant or you make it to the top and become a superstar director. Do it for you. And after everything, if anyone ever needs to talk or wants an ear, y'all find me on my roller coaster because I promise I will respond. <laughs> I'm here, been through all of the ups and downs and I know what it's like to need a friend and just need someone to chat with. So. I'm here and I love you guys and you have to deal with my complete craziness to talk to me, but I'm always here. So, okay, I'm done now. <laughs> I, uh, I love you guys, all of you, and I'm gonna pass it on to Leslie. <sighs> okay, sorry, if you hear my daughter, she's back here and I'm in her room. Um. Okay, I didn't think I was going to cry, like, right away, <laughs> I just might. But I started my crunchy journey May of 20, oh my god, 2018, 2019. Um, my mom was obsessed with something she was buying from Mariah for a while <laughs> and every time I would go to her house it would smell so good I'm like dude what mom what are you buying she's like oh I'm just getting warmers and wax I'm like okay give me some warmers and wax and then honestly that's where the obsession oh well that's where the obsession began it's like Mariah <laughs> if you didn't come into my mom's life I wouldn't be here but um The main reason, oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the main reason I started with some. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I am, um, I was a first time mom. And uh, my daughter was eight months old and I was going. <sighs> I was going through really, really, really awful postpartum depression, and it lasted almost a year. It makes me so sad to think about like how miserable I was and how and how much of a blessing since he really is. Like, it distracted me from being so sad. And um, it was a place that I could literally go and like just focus on myself. And I really did find who I was when I joined Sensi. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. It is seriously the biggest blessing that ever happens in my life. You know, I was struggling. Financially, I was struggling to be a good girlfriend. I was struggling as a mom. Postpartum depression is something that, sorry. <laughs> so many people are so afraid to talk about it and they're so embarrassed. So I'm, I'm just so grateful that I took the opportunity to join Sensi and that I have something for myself and it's, <laughs> It's bettering my life and the future I have for my daughter, Olivia. You know, she's two now. And one of the biggest accomplishments I um, have had is 
when I got to, when we got to throw her her first birthday party and I got to pay for it all by myself and it was really great um with the help of her dad of course um so like financially like it has been like the biggest blessing I've been able to pay off student loans I've been able to save up for a mom car <laughs> which I've been trying for a while now um hopefully beginning of next year I'll get what I want um but it has it's really like I say I'll say this a million times it has honestly been the biggest blessing in my life and it's added so many more blessings upon blessings that you can think of um I, I really don't know where we would be as a family or, I see, baby, or as, as my own person if I didn't have Sensi. Like, I would be lost. I would be miserable. Um, and um, I'm just so happy that I joined. And honestly, I never, ever, Olivia, I never, ever thought about growing my own team and Morgan. <laughs> Um, she was my very first recruit and I was like, I was so afraid. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um, and I remember, um, I was talking about it further down the line as she was a consultant about how we both dreamed of being directors and how we were gonna make it to the top. And, you know, we're both here now. We're both directors and we're gonna go to Disney World together. <laughs> um, and the friendships I've made, you know, Morgan has become a really, really good friend to me. And, our, you know, like we hang out and our babies play together. Um, I know a lot of these faces on here, but like, like Mariah and Bree and this, everybody is so supportive. And Brandy and I, um, it's just the best. And it's, I'm so happy that I took this step and then, um, I just love sharing this opportunity with everybody. People ask me, is this real? Like, yes, this is real. Like, this can literally change your life. You can make paychecks. You can go out of your comfort zone. You can go on incentive trips. Like, it, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah. Uh, I lost my train of thought because I'm a mess and I have a toddler playing right next to me. Um, but it is, it is so worth it. It's so worth everything being a part of Fancy. And I'm really grateful and I'm grateful for, you know, the customers I see. <laughs> uh, grateful for, you know, the customers and the friendships I've made with customers just because of a wax bar and a warmer, you know? I know it's, it might sound silly, but we all get it. Um, but I think that's all I'm going to share for now because I'm going to start trying. So, hold on, baby. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure who goes after me. <laughs> uh, Teresa, I think it's you, right? Teresa, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Hopefully, I don't start crying because everybody's making me cry. Um, and I can relate to a lot of the stories. Uh, for me, it started, um, I was a reinstatement. I had previously been a consultant um, in 2011. It really never went anywhere. I didn't have an upline, so I didn't really have like guidance. And I know you don't really need it, um, but I didn't even know where to start. Like I, I knew nothing. I just knew I loved Sunsea. Um, I fell off, I got married, I had a baby in 2014, and I had really bad postpartum depression too, so I can totally relate to you, Leslie. Um, I took the drugs for a year, and then they were like, okay, you're good, and then I didn't really ever realize that I wasn't okay until after Sensi. Um, I joined this team through Brianna. Um, she was posting. We were friends through the same group that um, she met Alex through. It was a mom group. And um, she was posting, and I was like, oh, I should really try Sensi again. 
and as a as a just customer and so i hosted a party so i could get free and half off because i am super frugal and i don't like to spend my money and um so she posted like a game like uh choose a pumpkin or something and i'll send you a, a private message and it was like free light bulbs i think if i hosted a party and i was like cool and so then um I hosted a party and I was super shocked how quickly like things started selling and I think we were like over $350 um, in my party and I was super shocked at friends I hadn't even heard of that were buying stuff. Um, so then after that I asked Rihanna if she would take me on as a reinstatement, um, if she would be my, my sponsor and she said yes. And so I joined her team, I think it was like January of 20, 2018, um, without really like, I wasn't in it for building a team or anything. I just, I wanted something that was interesting for people to buy. I had done a lot of drug sales before and knew like what wasn't really to like people aren't really into being healthy, even though they try to be, but they don't want to buy the vitamins and um, they don't want to buy the skinny wraps and they don't want to buy the clothes and they don't want to buy the makeup and all of that had never worked before. And I knew people loved their houses smelling good. So um, it was a way for me to get my free and my half offs. Um, and then I had two girls that decided they wanted to join my team. Um, one of them was really just a, um, my husband's friend and then another one was someone that lived close to me was a really good customer um and she said you know i've been thinking about joining because i should just get paid back for my purchases and i wasn't even thinking about building a team like promote to lead i was just like well yeah that's why i joined so heck if you want to do that you can join with me and i'll show you how to use all your party rewards and your half offs and all that good stuff and she's still with me um they're both actually still with me and they're active um still and then i just kept sharing it i wasn't really looking to add um anybody i have really bad anxiety first off let me tell you guys oof for me to be on here it's like i'm gonna have to take some drink some wine do something um so for me to talk to people about joining was not an easy thing. And I remember when I first um, was watching Alex's um, trainings, you know, I would be like, did you ever consider yourself a leader or do you ever feel like you kind of grew into that? And I really feel like it's something that you need to, you learn. You're not, you know, we're not born into the people we are now. We kind of learned and fought our way to where we are. And so that's kind of how it happened for me. I wasn't really looking to be a leader. I had no clue of how to be a leader. I just kind of learned and grew into the, the leader that I am now for my team. Um, I, we are, I think we're 35, 36 now in my team and halfway through star director numbers and that really scares me because i don't think i'm anywhere close to being a star director yet like i still have a lot of learning and a lot of growing to do before that happens but my girls are just crazy they're they're growing they're on fire um and it's crazy to like when i look at my workstation and i see my numbers and i'm like how in the heck did this girl who has such bad anxiety like you guys driving for me is crazy talking for me is crazy um a lot of things give me really bad anxiety um so how is it like this girl can do that like is insane to me like when i think about it and i'm like if i can do it anybody can do it like this is so easy peasy lemon squeezy like my son says um, and he has been a great motivator for me, actually. My kids, um, they're my everything and I wanna do everything for them. So if I can earn an incentive trip for them, I'm gonna do it. If I can 
earn an extra thousand dollars a month for them, I'm going to do it. If I can earn a $10,000 paycheck every month so I can stay home with them, I'm going to do it because my son is always asking me, why do you go to like, why can't you just stay? And in all honesty, it's not really the money. It's the free insurance. We get free medical insurance because I work at Kaiser and it's expensive for a family of six. It would be like $2,000 a month for us to have full coverage. And uh, we'd still have copays with that. And with Kaiser, I don't have any copays. So um, that is why I'm still working. And he will always ask me like, why are you still working? And so that's why I work so hard. Like, uh, Try not to agree Alex, but sometimes I'll throw in a random student in there. Um, and I'm learning every day so I'm be better and get that $10,000 paycheck because that's on my vision board and that's what I want. And I'm going for it. And um, I forgot to start my timer, so I knew exactly how much time I had left. Um, I don't know how much time I have left. Let me know if you need me to pass it on. If not, I can keep talking. Yeah, I mean, you're good for a few more minutes if you have more okay. to say. Um, I think that was it. I think Alex is next. Yes, I'm next and um, okay, so I feel like I'm a big, like, puddle of mush today. I have been feeling super emotional. Um, I don't know, just because you guys, like, Cincy is so incredible, and it has completely, like, transformed my life and my family's lives, and, like, it's been, like, a really long time since I've, like, cried on the team page, so I'm nervous to, like, cry now, like, in front of you guys. Um, but I've been doing like a lot of reflecting on my journey through Sensi. And um, you guys, I joined five years ago in October. So literally I'm about to hit my five year anniversary and I joined on a whim. Like literally I had never owned Sensi before I joined. Um, I joined through my sponsor who was literally just posting pictures of warmers on Instagram, like no other products. Like I knew nothing about Sensi and I mentioned joining like a year prior and then I just kept looking at pretty pictures and then like one day literally completely random. I was like, oh, whatever, I'm just going to join. Okay. And at the time I had uh, my two sons, Jason and Tyson. Jason was two. Tyson was like five and a half months old. And I was really like struggling internally with like what's next in my like motherhood chapter because I wanted so badly to stay home with my children but like also things were tight at home and like we were like buying store brand everything and like we were like running out of money before the next paycheck and like it was just rough and I felt like such an obligation to contribute to my family like y'all I was doing like extreme couponing trying to help my family like literally like I felt so um, like much pressure, not from my husband, not, no one was putting this pressure on me, but myself, but like being in, like, you know, paying our bills and seeing our finances, like I knew something had to give. And I joined on a whim. Um, and I just thought like, well, I'll just keep couponing and maybe I'll make some extra cash and it'll be fine. Um, but guys, I remember being so excited when I joined, I was so excited, like literally, like I was spelling Cincy wrong for the first two days. Like I like did it wrong where I like mass added everyone into a group. Like I was giving people the wrong bundle prices, but like, I was so excited for just like my Scentsy journey. Right. And then I got my starter kit and it smelled amazing. And I'm like, oh my God, they have laundry products. They have kids products. They have car products. Like it totally blew my mind. And I read my consultant guide and 
everything that you need to know, like is in your consultant guide. And I remember it said like, make a list of 100. And I was like, whatever. So I made my list of 100. It said, have a launch party. I was like, whatever. Like I was new to the city. Like I didn't really know a lot of people here locally, but I had like a few friends and my mother-in-law and my parents and um, my launch party was like $800, you guys. And um, I remember like, I placed my launch party order and then like my customers, like my friends and family were giving me additional orders before their order even came in. And I remember like, it makes me so emotional because I was sitting right here on my old laptop where I sucked at decor and like, I was so young. I, I mean, I'm still so young, but I was so young then. Um, like I was barely 22 or like, yeah, I was 22 and, um, I had no idea what I was doing, but I remember feeling like people love this stuff. And I remember like waiting for my order to come and I got on YouTube and I was watching Sensi training videos. And I remember seeing these superstar directors bouncing their babies on their knees or their kids, you know, causing a ruckus in the background or, you know, they don't have makeup on, they don't have degrees. And I literally remember like saying to myself, like, if they do it, I can do it too. And like, I remember at that moment, like it was that decision that I was just going to do it. Like I was just going to go for it. Like, I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm like bettering myself. I'm having fun. I'm learning a lot. And it was in that moment that I decided I was going to go for it. And I've never looked back. I've never taken a month off. I've never, um, I've never quit. I, it was just a decision I made and I continued to go for it and I continued to learn and implement the things I was learning. And um, I feel like my business was a very organic progression. Um, I grew my customer base for the first few months and then I started sponsoring, you know, one person one month, one the next month. And I remember, I think it was February after I joined. So I had been a consultant for like five months at the time. And I had a team of, I think like six or seven. And I remember like trying to explain to my husband at the time, like, you know, I was spending so much time on it and like, I was always talking about it. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to promote, like, this is what I need. So and so is interested in joining. Like I booked a party. Like I was so, I, I still get super excited. Okay. But if, if you guys, you know, can, can relate to me here. Like when you have a growing team and you're so excited and you're talking about something all the time, like my husband was like, okay, Alex, like, can we watch this movie now? And I just remember like telling him like, babe, you don't understand. Like I have a team of seven now, but like one day it's going to be a team of a hundred. And like, I know that sounds crazy, but like one day it will. And then the next year, you know, I'm seeing a team of 70 and I'm like, look, we're almost at a hundred. And now here we are, a group of almost 500 consultants, you guys, and um, Cincy has just completely changed changed my life. The whole course of my life has been changed forever because of Cincy. It has allowed my husband and I to travel. It has given us um, income to pay bills and save money, and really, it it gives you the the glimpse of doing whatever you want in your life. Since he can be the vessel that literally like transforms your life. And I know it sounds so dramatic, especially if you are a certified consultant getting a $50 paycheck, you're like, yeah, okay, it'll really change my life. But like, if you make the decision and if you stay the course and if you grow and evolve and try new things, since he can absolutely change your life. And my why has evolve through time like so many of us who have been with Sensi and seen the vision with Sensi and are working towards you know their goals with Sensi your why evolves and at first my why was you know for me like something for me to do and if I can make some extra cash that's great but ultimately like I just want to have something for myself and then it was to make like significant extra money to pay a bill or two and then I saw that you can earn trips and I got to take my husband to Spain and Italy and France and uh, Mexico and free vacations. And, um, you know, then you're making enough money where you're paying all of your bills and not just one or two. And you're really seeing what Sensi can do for you. And it allows you to dream even bigger than you can imagine. Like, yeah, superstar director might be the goal. And yeah, a $10,000 paycheck might be the goal. But what are you going to do with that $10,000 paycheck? right? Like for me, a dream of mine, like, and I've had this dream for 
like my whole adult life is I want to buy a house and flip it. Like I want to like buy a house and decorate it and make it all pretty and then sell it or rent it out or whatever, right? Create additional streams of income. Also being an entrepreneur, being my own boss. And since he has that opportunity, since he can give you that. So you know, maybe you want to have a bed and breakfast, or maybe you want to put your kids in college all cash, or maybe you want to buy a camper and go on a summer road trip, or whatever it is, since he can be that for you. And I think like, that's my um, biggest, like, revelation with Sensi is that you can do anything you want with your Sensi business as long as you stay consistent and dedicated and that's one thing that you know I'll pat myself on the back every chance I can is that like I have never given up and I will never give up my Sensi business is a huge priority to me and my family and for you guys for my team and so um, I'm a huge believer that it just takes one decision and what you do after that one decision can completely um, evolve your business and evolve yourself personally. Um, when I first joined Sensi, I certainly was not a leader. I was 100% not a leader. Um, that's something that I have really honed in on in the last three years. Um, I obviously was not an entrepreneur. I didn't know how to run my own business. I didn't know how to um, manage business expenses or taxes, or um, I didn't know how much my mind would go grow through my Sensi business. I didn't realize like how much personal growth is actually um, intertwined with your Sensi business, but it's absolutely insane. Um, it's completely incredible what your mind can do when you feed it positive affirmations day after day, month after month, year after year. Um, it's amazing what your mind can do when you become um, pro a problem solver instead of a whiner or a complainer or a woe is me type of person. It is completely amazing the way that your life can transform when you have a mindset shift. And I 100% attribute that to Sensi and growing myself as a business owner and an entrepreneur and a leader. Um, and so the, that has to be one of my very favorite things that Sensi does and provides is the opportunity to grow and evolve as a person. Um, and you guys like, it's been the most beautiful journey. And I don't know like where it's going to take me exactly, but I know that I'm going to continue to show up. I'm going to make good of my decision to go for it. And um, I know that this is, you know, this is five years in just the beginning. This is just the beginning to what is to come of the Sensi journey. And so, you know, I'm so excited for you guys that you're on this journey and you guys are experiencing it and you're wanting to step into growth and into leadership because um, you guys, Sensi can be so beautiful for you guys. And Sensi can, if, you know, I'm sure it has already impacted your life in such a positive way, but it can be just the beginning for you too. There is a whole amazing world out there if you just, stay committed to what you're wanting in your Cincy business and allow yourself to grow and evolve through that. Allow yourself to change your mind and change um, the, the things you want from your Cincy business because it can absolutely 110% um, your Cincy business can do that for you. So um, that's kind of my story or, you know, my, um, my revelations through my Sensi journey. Um, and so I know that so many of you guys, myself included, are super excited to hear from Jennifer Martin. She is um, our upline superstar director. For those of you on Brianna's team, she is one, three generations up. Uh, as a superstar director, if you are on my team, if I'm your director, um, she is our superstar director, superstar director. She's incredible, like so amazing. Um, she's going to tell you her story, how long she's been with Cincy and all of that good stuff. But I'm going to hand it off to her because you guys, she's been watching us and cheering us on and clapping for us and she loves us so well. So I want to formally introduce you guys to Jennifer and yeah, girls, your turn. There we go. Thank you so much. You guys, I'm like nervous. <laughs> After listening to you guys all talk, I was like, oh my goodness. When I first came on, there was like five screens. I was like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. 
And then like, she's like, okay, I'm gonna invite everyone to come now. And then it was like, whoosh, everyone like rolled in. I'm like, ah, this is like more than what I was expecting. But you guys, I learned a lot from you. I actually, I'm, I'm on your team page and I learn from you guys every day, actually. Um, my Sensi story does make me super, super, super emotional. Um, but I want to thank you for inviting me to, to speak to you guys. Um, I have, I'm a nerd. I take notes. <laughs> so I have notes just from tonight, from hearing you guys talk, because I do my numbers every day. So I, I recognize all of your names. So it's really cool to hear your story and be able to put your name and your consultant ID number and your TWV to an actual story. So that's really remarkable. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, you can get copies. <laughs> Rihanna's like, can I get copies of those notes? Um, yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much. There's, it's remarkable to me. I'm, I will take you a little bit down memory lane and I'll share some things. Um, but it's remarkable how uh, when I joined and my story, there's so many similarities between my story and your story. Um, and over and over again, I heard you guys saying key things. So I made <laughs> other notes with some key notes on here about, you know, what, what we had in common. Um, and it's remarkable to me that um, we have so much in common considering we've never actually officially met. Uh, well, most of you. Um, first of all, I did hear some of you guys were talking about time. <laughs> Alex, do I have a time? <laughs> A time limit? No, it's okay. Okay. I wasn't sure if this is like a zoom and it's going to cut me off or, okay, we're good. I mean, I'm not going to talk forever, but you know, I'm original. So I got to go back a little bit and down memory lane. So, um, I'll take you guys right back to the very first time I found out about Sensi. And I hope you guys even realize, like, I'm going to cry now, but every PRV you guys enter, has a direct impact on me and my family. So I want you to know how much I love you guys, even though we've never, I haven't met most of you. It means a great deal to us that you guys work so hard with your business every single day. So I just want to start with that. Okay, I'll try not to cry my eyes out the whole time, but I can't, can't help it. Um, okay, so I was actually introduced to Sensi. I was selling another direct sales product. Um, they're no longer around and it was something I was actually really terrible at <laughs> it was um, card making and stamping supplies and I'm like the least creative person you guys will ever come across like and actually I'm like so excited because these got delivered today because I see you guys and all your fancy things and I'm like I'm a copier I will copy what you guys do so these just came in I don't know if you saw Troy bring in my bag of those uh, while we were on on the call um, but I, I copy everything. I'm, I'm not creative at all. I am just not a creative person. And so the fact that I was trying to sell these things is kind of funny. Um, but I just knew that I wanted to be self-employed. Um, I used to work in a corporate office um, in Toronto. I'm, I'm in Canada. I don't know if you guys know. Um, I used to work in a corporate office in Toronto. And we used to have to give like our annual vacation requests um, like in January. But it's like, well, what if it rains the week that... I'm fucked off. Like then I don't really want that week. I want another week. And, and it was just like, I hated working for somebody to be totally honest with you. Um, I would say I was a bad employee, but I wasn't, I worked really hard. I just never liked it. I didn't like driving. Um, I used to commute three hours for work and I hated it. And, um, so when I had Jacqueline, uh, Jacqueline is our daughter. <laughs> I have pictures of her all over the place, but anyways, if you, I'll show you, actually, I'll, I'll uh, take off my video and you guys can see there's me and Troy and Jacqueline. I'll take this opportunity to blow my nose. And um, so when Jacqueline was first born, um, I knew I wanted to look for something else, as a lot of you guys talked about, um, wanting to stay home. It was actually something I never imagined would ever happen for us. Um, I didn't even actually let myself dream, like dare to dream that I would be able to stay home ever. Um, my husband and I, uh, we just were not making 
enough. We, we, we weren't, we didn't have extra. So I can relate to what Alex was saying where there's really a little bit more month than there is money. You're living that paycheck to paycheck, there's no savings, you know, you're just living to work. And um, so anyways, I knew I wanted to do something else and I tried to do this crafting <laughs> thing. And I was actually set up at um, a vendor event at a school and in the gymnasium, there was a Sensi table and it just had a big banner and it said, uh, Sensi wickless candles. So I went over and I was like, what in the world is a wickless candle? Like my small mind can't even wrap itself around what is a wickless candle? I don't even understand that terminology. So I walked over to her, to her table and immediately I smelled it. You guys know that smell I'm talking about. Walked over to her table, smelled that. And I was like, oh my goodness. I realized that day that I had stopped burning candles and I hadn't made this conscious decision like, oh, we have a baby, we have a dog, we can't burn candles anymore. We just never lit them because it was too too much of an uh, opportunity that they would light on fire, right? So we stopped lighting candles and I didn't really think anything of it until I smelled these. And I was like, oh my goodness, I miss that smell of a candle, but I refused to burn a candle. So anyways, um, she was telling me what Sensi was and she was, um, she was a police officer and had been at the scene of many fires. And so she had um, found Sensi and decided that she had to let people know that there was a safe alternative to a traditional candle. And so I knew, like I had to tell my friends about this because my friends had babies and they had pets and they had to know that there was an option outside of a regular candle. And so um, we didn't have any money. So I was like, okay, I'd like to host a party, please. <laughs> and so that's what I did. I hosted it. This was um, in June of 2011. And I decided I had to host a party. I was like, so I um, hosted a party because I knew I would get free products. Um, I didn't know about Sensi specifically and the Sensi um, host rewards, but I knew that if by hosting parties, you got free stuff. That's all I knew. So she came over and take you back down memory lane here. This is what testers used to look like. To give you an idea, this is our bar. And that is our, that was the tester. Like, look how thick it is. It is heavy. Okay. So this was a tester, you guys, <laughs> if you can believe it. This one is white sands. Um, anyways, she dropped off a basket of these testers and okay. Somebody was telling me this. I wrote this down. Who said this? Just a second. Brandy, Brandy said this, her and her husband put piles of the testers of what they liked and what they didn't like. And then you have that mutually agreed upon pile, right? So that's what we did. We found some mutually agreed upon uh, wax and we looked through the catalog. Do you guys want me to show you the catalog or is that too much time? You wanna see it? Yeah, I see, okay, one sec, sorry. Oh shoot, <laughs> it's tucked way back here, one sec. Anyways, back then we really only had wax and warmers. Here it is. Don't mind my messy office. Okay, this was our catalog back in the day. So there's our old logo. So in this catalog, I'm telling you guys, okay, here's the Thompson family. Isn't that so cute? I love that there's always a picture of them in front of all of our catalogs. And you guys, somebody said like the warmers were ugly. They were. We didn't have the cutest warmers. We had three sizes. The, this was um, called a premium, like a full size warmer, a mid size warmer and a nightlight. So I still always refer to these as nightlights because that's how I knew them. This was a 25, a 20 and a 15 watt. And that's all we needed to know. <laughs> there was not a whole lot else that we had back then. We did have buddies. So I always have the Lenny buddy in stock. Um, I, most of my friends have kids that are older. So you guys have these young kids, but um, I don't have that circle of friends anymore because I'm old. 
Um, let me show you some of these like crazy llamas. Some crazy ones. Oh, that old school golf. <laughs> or this one, <laughs> the wine, the grapes. Anyways, so yeah, this is what uh, my first party was. And um, I had my friends come over and I was like, you guys have to learn about this. It's like this safe alternative to a traditional candle. And it's like a wickless candle. And they're like, what's a wickless candle? I'm like, I don't even know how to explain it. So she came over, you guys, she did not tell us that the wax doesn't burn. Okay, so this was a consultant that was like, how not to be a consultant 101. So she didn't tell us that it doesn't burn away. Okay, um, she really did not tell us how to change wax because of course we didn't know it didn't burn away. Um, and it was, it was old school. There's our night lights. And actually like our bases looked different in Canada than in the US. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that story. There was like a whole thing where they had to collect up everybody's night lights at one point. Um, before my time, thank <laughs> thankfully, they had to collect up everyone who had bought a nightlight, had to return their base and get a Canadian approved base. Yeah, yeah. When you guys, when I joined, like the workstation was kind of just in the beginning stages. It's not this robust thing that you guys get to experience today. Um, Alex and Brianna, I'm sure you guys have run your bar report before. That was not something that existed. Like there was no bar report. We wrote everything down, pen and paper, all over order forms, pen and paper. This was our fragrance grid. And then there were just codes. So it would say like SB, that meant Scentsy Bar. Um, S, uh, let me see here. CC was Scent Circle. TT was travel tin. We had to use all these like SKUs. So if you guys look on your order forms, if you ever see like a SKU or an item number, this is what it was referring to <laughs> back how we used to have to enter things. Um, the thing that I love about all of our catalogs um, is that we've always had the compensation plan. There was one time, one time that there was um, no um, compensation plan in the catalog. And I actually talked to Heidi about it. And she was like, no way, it got missed. And I'm like, yeah, she's like, I'll make sure it's in the next one. And true to her word, it was in the next one again. Because that was one of the things when I first started out was to show people that we had a conversation plan, um, that it wasn't hidden, and that it was there for anyone to figure out. And that was how I kind of started. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys how I joined. Okay, so that was my catalog at my first party. Um, I earned a free warmer and I got this plain white warmer it was called square white and um that's all and i got a bar but the square white you used to be able to buy stickers to like decorate it <laughs> like you guys this is crazy who would do this anyways i was not interested in decorating them quite plain so i just wanted the square white and that's all i wanted and i was able to get one bar of my wish so anytime that you guys see my wish in any of the bring back my bars, just know that this is part of your Sensi family history. Because if not for this bar and that warmer and that party and me meeting her in that gymnasium, we wouldn't be here today. It's really, really crazy for me to think about. That's why I find it so overwhelming and like I get so emotional because if I hadn't taken that step back then, you guys all wouldn't even be part of this. Like. And I wouldn't be part of this, which is crazy to me. Anyway, this scent always takes me back to that first. And one thing I will tell you guys is that back then, if you're ever at a party and your host seems to not be able to make up her mind about a half price item, I'm just going to ask that you give them a little bit of grace because what it means is that she doesn't have four extra dollars to get a bar or three extra dollars to get a bar at half price. I did not have, she's like pushing me and pushing me. She's like, you can get six bars for 30, for $15. And I was like, no, no, that's okay. What are, are you crazy? Why wouldn't you want to get like six bars for 15? We did not have $15. I didn't have $3 to get one bar at half price. We were broke. I only could use free products. So for those of you watching or listening to the recording, 
don't bug people <laughs> if they can't use their half price items it's because they can't afford to it's not because they don't realize that it's a good deal they're not stupid they just can't afford to invest in one more thing okay so just bear that in mind and they would obviously make a great consultant okay so back to my story i host my party i would invited about 10 friends they all bought something i got my free stuff okay now it's July and this crazy consultant owes somebody a warmer and she owes somebody money and she has gone MIA. Five of my friends at my party wanted to host Sensi parties. Five. Because this was brand new and nobody had ever heard of it before and nobody had seen it. Nobody had smelled it before. Okay. And so she was gone. She was not replying to anybody's messages. She wasn't returning calls. Like my friends wanted to host these Sensi parties and she was gone. And I had such a bitter taste in my mouth about this crazy company because I was like, she owes us a warmer and she owes us money. Like to me, this consultant was Sensi. Okay. And I think it's really important for you guys to realize that when you're out there representing our brand, you are Sensi to whoever you're speaking to. They don't know that there's this huge office and all this support. They don't know that. They just know that you are Sensi to them. Like, look at the back of this catalog and tell me what's missing. I don't even know that girl's name. She didn't label anything. I don't even know her name. So anyways, by September of 2011, I... <laughs> was embarrassed because here I had introduced all of my friends to this crazy culty company called Sensi. And I didn't, I, I was embarrassed because here I had put it on the line, like, Oh, I'm going to introduce these people to this great new product and they're going to love it. And they did, and they're going to want to host parties and they did. And then she went MIA. So my friends were calling me and this was back in the days when they used to call because I didn't have a cell phone. They would call me and they would say, Jen, I want to have that Sensi party. I need to have my Sensi party. And I'm like, dude, you got to like, let go of the dream. It is not happening. I don't know where she's gone. I can't get a hold of her. She's, she's not going to, you're not doing your Sensi party. After three months of this, I decided, okay, fine. I'm going to join this crazy company out of embarrassment. I'm going to join this company, do those five parties and wash my hands clean of this. Okay. So I joined on September 15th, 2011. After going to somebody, I tried to join on September 1st, 2011. Listen to this. I went to some girl's website. So I had to go to a consultant locator. Okay. So I had to go to sensi.com because I just knew I didn't want to sign up under this girl. I didn't know anything about the company. I went to sensi.com. I did consultant locator. So this is a little plug. You guys are in the leap to lead program. You have to be a lead consultant to show up on sensi on the locator. I am now a superstar director and I joined randomly under somebody through the consultant locator. Okay. So I went to her website. <laughs> yes, Brandy, real thankful for that embarrassment. <laughs> um, I went, I went to this girl's website to join. And back then <laughs> I had a little pop-up, you know how, when you enter information in and you get a pop-up and it said, has this person agreed to support you on your new Sensi business? And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like what kind of cult is, how do I join this frigging company? I just want to do my friend's parties because this is so embarrassing. Like now I have to like get approval to be supported by this person. So I emailed the consultant. And I said, Hey, my name is Jen. I want to join Sensi because I have five people who want to have parties and I can't get a hold of my consultant. So I'm just gonna do those five parties and then you don't have to train me. You don't have to do anything. I won't be sticking around. And she messaged me back and she said, let me think about it. Yeah. Alex, that response is exactly right. Mm -hmm. So I went to join on September 1st. Finally heard back from her on September 15th. Yeah, fine. You can join my team. Fine. I have her support. Now I know that this girl is going to support me in my business. So I joined Sensi. I get my starter kit in 
And you guys, I didn't do anything. I did not look at my consulting guide. Like I did what I saw this other girl do. So I dropped off the testers. I dumped them on the coffee table and I took orders. She didn't even do a presentation. I didn't know that the wax didn't burn away. I'm just like, well, it's crap. Like it doesn't smell anymore, but it doesn't go anywhere. Like I had no idea anything. So I heard you guys saying earlier, and uh, three of you guys actually said this, but Mariah was the first who thought when she saw Brianna packing her order, she had that thought in her head that said, I can do this. So that's all I did. I copied what the consultant who came to my house did. I copied her. So I dumped them out on the coffee table and I took orders and that was it. There was no presentation. No, this is how it works. Nothing. I just took orders. So I had people at those five parties. Oh, by the way, I, <laughs> so I joined September 15th and I called my friends. And I'm like, okay, listen, I'm going to do that Sensi party you wanted to have, but it's got to be in October because I wanted to be free and clear of this by October 30th. Uh, it's Jacqueline's birthday. It's my birthday. It's Canadian Thanksgiving. It's Halloween. So you can have one of these two dates. Okay. So people were very generous and they chose one of the two dates that I gave them. By the way, I was working 50 hours a week um, and commuting. I mean, it was, it was a crazy time. So I understand for those of you who find like you're really busy, I get it. I know what it, that's like. Um, so anyways, I hosted, or I went to these five parties. I did these five parties without ever having opened my starter guide. I took a warmer and I took the testers because that was basically all we had back then. And I did those five parties at every single party. People said to me, Oh, I really want to host a Sensi party. And I was like, no, sorry. I'm not actually a Sensi consultant. It's kind of a whole thing. And they were like, okay. And I was like, yeah, sorry. I know it's a bit weird anyways. So I did the five parties in October and literally you guys don't know us, but Troy and I don't do anything without talking to each other. We we've been married for 23 years absolutely adore each other, talk about everything. We don't make decisions without each other. I joined Sensi without telling him. All I knew is I had to get it paid off before that credit card bill came in. That's all I knew. I didn't even know how much money I was making. I knew nothing, okay? So what happens on November the 10th? You guys know what happened November 10th, 2011? I see people, <laughs> yes, Alex. I got paid. So then I was like, what? what? What is this crazy company? So I pulled this bad boy out for the first time. And I'm like, what is going on here? Because I just made more money in one month not selling Sensi than I did in three and a half years selling the stamping and crafting that I had been doing previously. So I looked at my starter guide for the first time. I will tell you guys, I did not earn shooting star. Um, I did not earn sensational start. And I don't, people will say to me like, well, weren't you mad at your sponsor? Um, no, I signed a independent consultant agreement. That means I'm responsible for myself. I was not upset with them. So if you're in leap to lead and you're afraid to recruit because you're like, well, I don't know if I know everything. You don't have to know everything. They're an independent consultant and you guys, I'm telling you, I'm on your team page every day and I learn new things every day. You personally do not need to know everything there is to know. And you're not giving yourself credit for all the things you do already know. So I pulled out my startup guide for the first time. Look at these charms. You guys, I just saw them. Sorry to, I'll just go here for one second. Look at these crazy charms that we used to earn. Aren't they so ugly? <laughs> Anyways, those were the charms that we used to earn. And um, the one thing that I really loved about this actually, um, because once I got paid and I was like, what? what, how did this happen? I learned this and this is how um, the competition plan used to be laid out. So um, Brianna and Alex, if you want a copy of this, um, I can send you a scan sheet and you can upload it to your team page. It's an easier way of explaining the compensation plan, the way that it's written out versus the grid. So I, my personality, I'm a type A through and through. Um, I prefer this 
layout and I include it in all of my new team member information because I think they missed the mark and not having it laid out that way. We obviously still have the regular compensation plan and the compensation plan, I've been with Sensi now just nine years, it's never changed. You guys, they've never changed the compensation plan. It's always been as generous then as it is now. So it's remarkable. And don't for a second kid yourself and think, oh, well, Jen got in early on, so it was easier for her. I assure you, it was not easier for me because Sensi was not a brand that was known. And you guys, I'm sure you don't go to a fair and you buy something the first time you see it until you know the name, until you know what stands behind it. I had to go and take my little bag of testers and my warmer um, everywhere. I, I had to, on average, see people seven times before they would even buy Sensi from me. That's why home parties are so great because at least they don't know me, but they know the host. So they feel that there's this level of commitment. Um, I know right now we're not doing home parties because of COVID, but back then that's how we really used to do it. And I used to just peddle my wares everywhere I went. And so don't think that you have it like that it was easier for us original girls because it wasn't. It was really hard to let people learn to trust us when they didn't know what Sensi was. And they, it wasn't a name that was a brand name that people today recognize. Um, sorry, I'm just starting to see the comments over here. I didn't even look. Yes, my wish is so good. Oh, Mandy, you've got to get it. I don't know what the mind blown was, but probably from the whole <laughs> craziness of joining. Let's see, I was a consult. I've been a consultant for nine years as of September 15th. So I just had my nine year anniversary. And again, like I'm not telling you guys that I didn't earn shooting star and sensational start because like, I'm not proud of that. I just, I didn't have a support system like you guys have. I didn't have, I did get a startup guide, but I didn't pull it out until after my first paycheck. So then after I got my first paycheck, what did I do? I called up those people who were at the October parties who wanted to host parties when I was like, no, nah, I'm not really a consultant. And I had told myself like, I'll just do this until Christmas because it was October and November. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it till Christmas. Like, sure, I'll do it till Christmas. And I will tell you guys, and this will make me emotional. I'll grab Kleenex. Um, okay, back then, I told you already that we didn't have extra money. So Troy and I had actually had a conversation and we had talked about not having Christmas that year. Okay, I'm gonna go into a different mode here, gallery mode. Put up your hand if you guys have heard of the love languages, the five love languages. Okay, anyone have a love language that is gifts? Yes, okay, so my love language is gifts. Imagine me having to agree that we're not doing Christmas that year. That was hard. Jacqueline was four and we had to agree that grandma and grandpa and the aunties would spoil Jacqueline and that that would be her Christmas. We were not gonna do Christmas that year. So anyways, we had also talked at that time, I don't play the lottery, but everybody plays that game what would we do if we won the lottery that we don't play, <laughs> right? And so I had said to Troy, well, what if money was no object for Christmas? What would you want? And that was the year, 2011 was the year that iPads came out. At that time, iPads were $600. I don't know how much they are now. But I remember thinking like, oh yeah, well, we don't play the lottery, so you'll never get that, right? So um, that November, I had a whole ton of parties and I had my hosts and they're like, this is so easy. Like, this is so fun. And I'm like, Oh yeah, you should do something with me. <laughs> like you guys, that is how I started growing a team. Not intentionally. I did not go out knowing anything about building a team. People were just like, Oh, this is fun. I'm like, yeah, we should do it together. And they're like, okay. And so I would flip the host without that being an actual thing. I would flip my host. And I say, okay, great. If like any orders to come in, that obviously that'll be your first order because they're your friends. Any bookings that you get, those will be your parties. Like it's your friends. I'm not gonna, you know. And um, I think one of the reasons that I stay with Sensi is because um, the spirit of generosity and authenticity and simplicity is alive and well in me. I'm like super simple. 
I don't like overcomplicate things at all, right? I'm authentic. Like what you see right now in front of you is what you'll get if we meet in person. There's nothing fancy about me. I'm just a regular girl. <laughs> and um, generosity, my love language is gifts. That is so easy for me. Um, and so it just really resonates with me, the whole value system that Sensi actually has around that. Um, so that's how I started to build my team. Um, I promoted from essential to star consultant in a month. Um, and then I promoted to superstar consultant. Um, we can do another training another time on compensation plan, but I will tell you that at superstar consultant is when you start to see like a shift in your pay where you're like, Hey, wait a second, I'm making more on my team now than I am on myself, even though my sales are high. Um, and then um, I met my superstar director, Megan Clements, um, at a pizza party that I was invited to. And I had, I will tell you guys, honestly, like no, no intention of going to, like I was not going to this pizza party. I'm not interested in meeting some hoity-toity superstar director, whatever that means. No, thank you. That's not really for me. And um, I had a team member and she was like, we're going to that pizza party, right? And I'm like, oh yeah, of course we are. Here we go. So we go to this pizza party and I meet Megan Clements who shares her story. First of all, I actually will tell you that I was waiting for her to come into her room. Morgan, I don't know which phrase it is, sorry. But um, hoity-toity maybe. <laughs> um, we were all sitting in this room eating pizza and like everyone's like sitting in t-shirts and jeans and sitting on the floor eating pizza. And I was like, when is this girl even going to show up? Like, seriously, it's a snowstorm in the middle of February um, because it was after what was then called spring sprint. <laughs> I, don't, I can't keep track of what they call it now. I think it's called world tour now, but it was called spring sprint. And so this hoity toity girl came in from Calgary to Toronto to attend, um, world tour spring sprint and that's when they were going to have somebody to the pizza party so i was literally like i had the worst attitude you guys but i was like where is this girl like when is she actually going to show up because in my small mind i had made a huge assumption and that was that a superstar director is going to come rolling in all dressed up and we will recognize her because she'll be the superstar director so that was my terrible attitude and my impression of what a superstar director would be. Anyway, somebody introduces Megan and she stood up and you guys could have picked my, my chin up off my, off the floor. I was like, that's our superstar director. And I think that's why it's so important for me to meet you guys and for you guys to feel like a connection with me because there is nothing special about a superstar director. Okay. A superstar director, is an essential consultant who never gave up. There is nothing secret that I know that you guys don't know. PRB, recruit, 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 go up the ranks. PRB, recruit, go up the ranks. PRB, recruit, go up the ranks. That's all there is to Sensi. There is not a secret formula that somebody is not telling you. You just have to take action and take those steps. Recruit, 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 sell, sell, sell. That's all there is. There's no secret. There's nothing special about a superstar director. It's just that we're way too stubborn to give up. So Alex, what you said about you're in this for life, you will never quit. That's how she'll be a superstar director because we never quit. We just keep doing it. And we are told no more than any of you guys have ever been told no. I've heard no more. And you just realize that this is part of the journey that you're on. Um, it's kind of like going to um, a restaurant for breakfast and the girl goes around with her coffee and she's like, would you like more coffee? And you're like, no, thanks. And she goes to the next table. Would you like more coffee? No, thanks. Would you like more coffee? Sure. And she tops up their coffee. If I say no, thank you, she doesn't slam down her coffee. And why don't you want my coffee? What, is there something wrong with my coffee? No, her job is to offer me the coffee and I either take it or I don't take it. That is our job. My job is to offer everyone the opportunity to join my Sensi team. And if they, they say no, thank you. I know I have um, flattered them by even asking. My job is not to be responsible for her response. 
And I've never had somebody slam something down and say, how dare you ask me to join your Sensi team? Never. It's always something that goes more along the lines of, oh my goodness, thank you so much for asking me. I don't think right now is a good time for me. And I'll say, so is that a no forever or a no, not right now? And they always say it's a no, not right now. And I'll say, do you mind if I follow up with you if there's a rejoin join special? Absolutely, please do. And then I have a little book and I keep track of everybody. So when there's a join special, I can follow up with them. Nobody gets angry when you ask. It's really, it's if you're in leap to lead and you haven't recruited somebody yet, it's in your head. You think that they're not going to join. You don't know. And it's not, it's not up to us to decide if they're going to say yes or no. It's actually kind of mean to think that you would know their answer, right? Because I mean, I'm probably the only person in Sensi history that nobody actually asked to join. And I did, I joined under a random consultant and now I'm a superstar director. It's very rare. Most people are asked, are you interested in joining or can I give you some more information? And I will tell you guys, like I always say to my team, if you guys don't ask, I will. If you don't ask, I will. And just like three months ago, somebody joined my team and I, after we connected on Facebook, I'm like, oh, she's friends with one of the girls on my team. And I said to her like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know that you knew her. Oh yeah, I bought Sensi from her. I go, well, why didn't you join her team? She goes, she never asked me to. And I was like, okay, see, like I always tell you guys, if you don't ask, I'm going to. So don't give up that opportunity because here my team member would have had a team member, but she didn't ask. She did, and the girl didn't know that people don't know you're automatically building a team if you don't make that very, very, very clear to them that you are building a team. They will look for someone who is. So really important to update that on your website as well. Okay, so that night we leave the pizza party, me and my team member, and um, we turn to each other in the car and we're like, we're going to be directors. And we're like, okay, what are we going to do? I don't know. So we're like, okay, I asked Megan, what do I have to do to be a director? She goes, recruit. I'm like, okay. So we left that day and we wanted to be directors. I decided I was going to be a director before my one year anniversary. Um, and I was. The team member who I went with never recruited a single soul. And she had left Sensi by the time I hit director. So I'm just telling you guys that because, and now she'll say, oh, well, Jen, you were just lucky. And honestly, guys, it makes me want to slap her. I am not lucky. I put forward the action that I was told to do. She told me to recruit. I went out there and I started talking to every single person I knew about joining Sensi. I am not a star recruiter and I am not a star salesperson. Like when I look at your numbers, like Brianna, I just, I want to get close to you just to have a little bit of that wear off on me. I am not the top salesperson. I'm not the top recruiter at all, but I will be intentional. So there are times when I will focus on sales times I will focus on recruiting. The most I've ever had was eight in one month. Um, I've never hit that again. Um, and I actually didn't know that that was hard until somebody told me it was. And then suddenly I was like, I can't recruit. Meanwhile, I had just done it, but I got inside my own head and I told myself that that was hard. I didn't know to hit director in a year wasn't something that everybody did. I didn't know better. I just did it. Um, two months later, oh, we went to um, Las Vegas for Sensi Family Reunion. Um, back there, it, then it used to be called convention still. Um, went to convention with two of my team members and they both went as lead consultants, okay, in July to Las Vegas. They both decided in July, we are going to be directors this fall. So they saw people walk across the stage with confetti cannons and they're like, what do we have to do to get that? So we found out, got to be a director. Okay, we'll do that. What do we have to do? Recruit. Okay. So off we went. I promoted to director in September. They both promoted to director in November, which tells you I promoted to star director in November. Um, I went to boot camp, one of the best experiences of my entire life. When you promote to director, you get to go to boot camp. I've never experienced anything like it. It is a life-changing as far as your business goes. It changes your perspective on everything. Um, from there, it was five years before I promoted to superstar director. I had gotten in my own head again, and I told myself I couldn't, that I wouldn't be able to do it, and I didn't. As long as I had my mindset that I couldn't, I, I didn't. So it took me five more years to promote to superstar director. Sorry, I'm now just, 
I keep forgetting to look over at the um, comments, sorry. Um, sorry, Elizabeth, I don't know what the, <laughs> what the great idea was, I'm sorry. Um, boot camp is life changing and yes, the confetti cannon is so fun. Um, and then I went to Star Summit Approach. So um, Alex, I know you're gonna be a star consultant, or star director, sorry, any day now, you're gonna have to go to um, Summit Approach and you're gonna meet all kinds of amazing people. Um, and then I went to um, Summit Approach, which was, again, a real change to my business. I didn't even know that uh, Superstar Director is the, is the top 0.02% of the company. I had no idea. Um, what I did now, and I will share this with you guys, is um, on average, um, directors, and my, this is averages sensi wide. Um, it's not written down somewhere, um, but I did do a training on this at one point, and I will tell you that you guys are in my downline, and my downline is always higher than our averages, okay? So you might want to write this down if you're numbers driven at all. Um, on average, directors earn about $1,000 a month. On average, star directors earn $5,000 a month. And on average, superstar directors earn $10,000 a month. Okay, so that's that was um, something that meant a lot to me. And it wasn't just because we were, you know, paycheck to paycheck. It was the bigger vision. It was the, can you imagine if you could earn in months what you used to earn in years? Like that was something that really blew my mind. Um, I think that it's important for people to really look at what would you do with the money, right? So a thousand dollars. I'm and again, I'm in Canada and I live in a expensive um, place. It's like a touristy place, so I don't know how this would relate to you guys wherever you live. But um, like, if a thousand dollars would that pay, you know, your rent or would it pay like a car payment? Or, you know, think about what a thousand dollars, what that difference could make in your life and work toward that. So what, leap to lead, if you're afraid right now to recruit, if you don't ask, somebody else will. Guaranteed, somebody else will eventually ask them. Um, and it's not, it, it, they're not saying no to you. They're just saying no thank you to Sensi. They don't understand. And that's when you just say, is it no, not ever, or just no, not right now? And you, usually they'll just say, it's not not right now. And you say, okay, well, can I let you know when there's a promotion on? And they're like, yes, please do. And they're glad, they're flattered that you even bothered to ask them. Um, we did earn my first trip, incentive trip, and some of you guys talked about this. Um, Brianna talked about how being on uh, the first incentive trip, her husband's perspective changed about Sensi. Um, when I went on my first incentive trip, we earned a trip to Hawaii, and I remember very distinctly being in the ocean, and we were just kind of bobbing around, and Troy said, you know, this is a real company, and I was like, yeah, I know, I've been trying to tell you, like, I was so excited, like, how Alex is, like, it's all I could think about, I was like, I was so excited, and he's like, no, this is a real company, and I'm like, yeah, I know, I've been trying to tell you that, and he's like, no, but like he suddenly got it. He met Heidi Norville. He met some of the executive team. He drilled them and like to the point where I'm like, oh, sorry, like this is embarrassing. But you know, he was like, this is a real business. This is a real company. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And so then um, I had asked Megan, she had come the following year and she had showed me her um, one month of her paycheck. And I realized that um, I could leave my day job and be a stay at home mom. If I really stuck to this sensey business, if I like was willing to try to recruit everybody, if I was willing to do the home parties, um, my biggest fear in my life is public speaking. I literally would rather die than do public speaking. But when she showed me what her paycheck was for one month and I realized if I can do what she can do and you guys have said this quite a few of you said this I think I heard it three times if I can do this so can you and that that was the 
when I saw Megan, she's younger than I am. She has three kids and one of them has very special needs. Her husband um, was a lawyer and he sold his law firm to work Sensi with her. And I was like, what? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. Like, how does a lawyer not practice law and does Sensi with his wife? I don't understand. So I didn't believe her. I'm like, show me. And so she showed me like just one paycheck and I was like, oh my goodness. Okay. If she can do this and she is a mom with three kids, one with special needs, if she can do this, I can do this. And so that's what I did. I just spoke. I focused on recruiting. I focused on getting out of my own head and I focused on telling everybody about the opportunity and people would say, well, I don't know if I can do Sensi. And I kept saying, I must, if I've said this once, I've said it a thousand times. If I can do this, so can you. And you guys watching this, if you're still with me, um, you can do this. If I can do this, I used to work 50 hours at a day job, 50 hours a week. And I would come home and I'd be mom to Jacqueline before she went to bed. And I would hang out with Troy. So he never felt that I was putting Sensi first. And then I would work my Sensi business and then I would go to bed. If I can do this, so can you. It's just how much do you want it? How, how, what are you willing to do to get there? And I heard a lot of you guys who spoke um, say that you'll, you'll do what it takes. I think it was more, I think it was Morgan. Oh shoot, I wrote, anyways, who said, whatever I have to do to make $10,000 paychecks, I'll do. And you guys, if I can do that, so can you. Because there's nothing special about me except that I'm super stubborn <laughs> and I'm always willing to learn. I never have gotten to the point where I feel like I know it all. I think people who put themselves in that position are in a dangerous place because they're no longer willing to grow and have that mindset. Um, I learn every day. I listen to training every day. I track my numbers every day. I look at my workstation every day. I look at all the numbers all the time. People ask me about my nerdy spreadsheets. <laughs> I sent Brianna a nerdy spreadsheet today. If you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to do it, it will pay off. I now work Monday to Friday from nine till two while Jacqueline's at school. She's now able to go to a private school. Troy is able to choose if he wants to work or not work. He does work part-time at a hockey rink. Um, he works two nights a week driving the Zamboni. I don't know if you guys in the U.S. are familiar with what a Zamboni is. Um, he drives the Zamboni two nights a week and we do Sensi the rest of the time. Um, if we decided actually last minute that we were going to go to Vancouver for the weekend and we just booked a hotel and went to Vancouver for the weekend and did whatever we, we wanted to. There was no, we can't afford to do that. Or, you know, maybe we should put that off for another time or there was none of that. It, the, the finances are not the be all and end all, but it's the freedom that comes that you can choose to do anything you want. And I wanted to be, I didn't, I grew up very, very poor where the kind of tagline for lack of a better word around my house was we can't afford that. We can't afford that. We can't afford that. We can't afford that. No, we can't afford that. We can't do that. We can't afford that. And I didn't want that to be my legacy that we can't afford to do that. I wanted our legacy to be like, yeah, let's do that. And for it not to, I mean, we still budget, don't get me wrong. We're, we're financially um, savvy and we, we don't, we're not foolish by any stretch of the imagination. And um, for those of you who know me, we pray about our business every day and we are good stewards of our time and our money. Um, so I'm not saying that, I'm not saying it's wasteful at all. I'm just saying that it gives you this freedom that Alex is saying here too. It's the freedom to be able to choose to do what you want, when you want. So we work Monday to Friday from nine till two, um, unless Jacqueline has a PA day, then we don't work. Summertime, don't work. March break. Christmas break. If I say that I'm doing Sensi for my family, but I spend all my time in my office without my family, I have to do a priority check. 
right? And so, um, you know, with COVID, it was different because she was doing school from home. And then she said to me, you know, mom, you're always working. And I'm like, well, you're always on your computer. And she's like, well, I'm on my computer because you're working. So it was that mind change again, right? It's like, I have to, okay, let's address that. Let's look at that. I don't have to do that. I, like I said, I'm a type A personality. So I don't like things brought on me last minute. I don't like surprises. Um, you know, if Trey says the other day, he said it was a Tuesday and he's like, oh, do you want to go grab breakfast? And I was like, but I have the all consultant training call. Like I can't take breakfast right now. And then I just had to take five minutes. Okay, wait a second. I say I do Sensi so I can be with my family. Yes, let's go out for breakfast. I can catch the recording, right? It's just, that's not my normal routine. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to share you guys, with you guys um, a bit of my story. I am a Sensi lifer. I am the crazy one in the audience who will be the loudest to cheer when you guys cross the stage. Um, I am that crazy person and I'm happy to be that crazy person and I'm proud of it. I'm very, very proud to be a Sensi consultant. When people ask me what I do, I can say I, I do whatever I want. I can choose to do anything I want and I choose Sensi. And I will say that over and over because I never imagined that this is the place that I would be at, that I can, I can choose to do anything that I want to and I choose Sensi. And the other day we were on a boat ride with friends and they said, oh, well, what if we won the lottery? Like, ha ha ha. And I was like, I would still work. I actually love my job. I love doing Sensi. And I'm very, very, very proud of the organization that we've built. And I'm very proud to be a Sensi consultant. So anyways, hopefully that, if, does anyone have any questions? Sorry, I didn't even ask if anyone has questions. Um, I have one, Jennifer. Has yes. there been like um, like a moment in your business that has been like really hard for you to overcome? And like, if so, how was it, how did you do it? Yeah, um, the hardest thing that I've ever had to deal with with my business was actually. Um, I was told by one of my downline that I was a terrible leader. And um, you guys, it goes to show how we are as women, really. Like, I, I save, I'm, I wouldn't call myself a hoarder, but I do save messages and cards and anything that I get from my team members, I have like a box that I have all these like amazing, amazing notes in. Um, and this one girl, she told me I was a horrible leader and she would never want to be like me. And um, I actually, I, I couldn't recruit for two years after hearing that. Um, it was the lowest part I've ever been at in my business. Um, it was the one time that I thought, maybe I am a horrible leader. Even though I had a huge box of people telling me how much they love and appreciate me and how good a leader I am. And I had all these like amazing, like literally hundreds of people have said that I'm a great leader. And it just took this one person telling me you're a horrible leader I would never want to be like you and it just it it actually like broke my heart and it broke my spirit and um that was the hardest thing I've ever had to overcome and it it just took a lot of um prayer and um people being really um patient I guess patient with me. And then for those of you guys who are seasoned leaders, if you've ever been recruiting and then you don't recruit and then you try to recruit again, it's really, really, really hard. Um, because suddenly you're questioning, maybe they're not saying no to the business. Maybe they are saying no to me. Maybe I am a horrible leader. Like, and you tell your, you let yourself believe these lies. And I now know today that, that, Somebody commented over here. I can hardly see through my eye, my tears here, but Mandy said hurt people hurt people. And it's so true. It is so true. 
And on the outside, I continued to give her praise on my team page and send her my monthly mailings. And I did all the things as if she had never hurt me, but she did. And that was the hardest thing I've ever had to overcome. And um, once I kind of forgave her and forgave myself for letting her have that effect on me, it was actually like two months later that I promoted to SSD. But that was definitely the hardest thing I've ever, it's just like women can be really catty where men, they just, they tell it like it is, but they're not mean, like, <laughs> you know, so it's just, it's sometimes it's really hard. And as women, we like to, we want everyone to like us. And it's that reality that we're all women and we're not all going to get along all the time. But that was the, definitely, that's a great question, but that's definitely the hardest thing I've ever had to overcome. Any other questions? Man, that's tough. And it's always so tough because it seems so impactful when they say like hurtful things and it, it really cuts you deep. But I think like it, that's just, um, another way that you can say like Sensi is a huge self-development business yeah. inside yeah. of like a wax business is because you have to learn and develop so much as a consultant so yeah I can totally relate to that I, I spent a long time in my Sensi journey feeling like I, I wasn't a good leader and I wasn't like worthy of leading but I had to really like look inward and recognize that, Hey, I'm just learning too. Just like, yeah. own, you know, a little extra grace. Yeah, exactly. So thank you, Jennifer. So oh, I was going to show you two other things. Sorry. Yeah. Before you, <laughs> sure. I was going to show you guys, this is like an old Sensi bar, like old, old, this is when they, what they used to look like. Wow. And, um, this is an original Sensi bar that Orville gave me. Isn't that cool? That was banana nut bread. Yeah, and weren't they hand wrapped uh -huh. by Heidi and Orville's um, well, parents, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Alice, who I knew. Alice, actually, I met her when we were in Hawaii on our first incentive trip, and I didn't know who she was. And I was like, why does this girl keep name dropping? Like, how awkward. <laughs> I didn't know it was Heidi's mom and dad, or like mom. And I was like, man, she's so weird, like name dropping like that. Because I'm not a name dropper, like at all. Like, I plan on earning like Shining Star one year and everyone going, who is Jen Martins? Like, that is my dream, right? <laughs> I don't need to be known. And so I was like, why does she keep name dropping? And then I realized who she actually was like two days later. I was like, oh, that's awkward. But she told me that my best piece of advice ever, recruit, recruit, recruit. So anyway. Yep. I, I, I live by that too. I feel like if yeah. you are in a slump of any sort, recruiting is the answer. So yeah. I, I'm with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So it just makes things so much more fun too, like when you have new recruits. So anyways, I feel like this was like the perfect um, exit to our Leap to Lead program. I really do. Um, thank you guys so much for showing up week after week. Like that is a huge commitment and um, I'm really excited to see what other programs we have up our sleeve um, in the next year or so. And I can't wait to see where um, all this leadership training takes your guy, you guys' business. And um, I know that it's going to be amazing because the great thing about Sensi is you're not waiting for that promotion for things to be great. Um, it's the journey. Like it's literally the journey through Sensi that is so amazing. And so like, don't forget that guys, like, yes, work towards your goals and know what you want to happen next, but don't feel like the only way that it's going to be amazing is when you hit director, because your whole journey is beautiful. You learn so much and you grow and you meet some of the most amazing people, um, through your Cincy journey. So just don't forget to just enjoy the journey. Jason Harwood um, over with consultant development, he talks about that all the time. Like find joy in the journey also because it's not just those promotions. It's not just being paid a title. It's everything that comes with a Cincy business. So as you guys take the things that we've talked about and you implement them into your business, please just remember that like it's it's bigger than the promotion. It's bigger than 
you know, having your active frontline, all of that's great. And, you know, that can be a really great um, intro to everything you want with your Cincy business, but it's fun during it too. It's fun building the relationships and learning so much about yourself. And so like really take the time to enjoy your journey and share that because um, people really like being connected to your journey and feeling like, you know, when they place orders that they're helping you, they're, they're being a part of that. And it also helps other people imagine their life um, with Sensi in it too. So um, if you guys have any other questions, um, please put them in the chat box. Taryn, you're like totally rocking it. I need to like talk to you on the phone and get all of your um, tips and tricks because you are just doing so amazing. And you guys, all of you guys are doing so amazing. This is our best month in Cincy history. Um, in retail sales, we've sold more than a quarter million dollars as a group. That's nuts, you guys. Like, it's absolutely incredible. So... Um, you guys are all part of that and um, just through and through for like every group and team this is the best month we have ever had and so I'm proud of you guys I love you guys um, this has been a very a very emotional day week month um, for me and I know for many of you guys too like I've been a big ball of emotion all day so um, Alex, you? Yes. something you just said when you said to enjoy the moments you guys, I have to tell you something like, I'm going to cry right now. Ugh. Anyways. Um, so with raising Hunter, everything has been like, he's still my baby. He's four and he's still like my one and a half, my two year old. Okay. And one of his therapists, we met her when he was three months old, the first one that ever came to my house. And I was so against her coming because I didn't want anything to be wrong with my son he was three months old. She walked into my living room and told me to celebrate the inch stones. Neth, everything is not about milestones to celebrate the inch stones because they are what get you to the milestones. And you got, it's so true. Inch stones are just as important. It might be funner to celebrate the milestones, but celebrate the inch stones. Don't let them go unnoticed. Yes. I <sighs> love that so much. And I 510% um, agree with that. And you guys, like I've been a director for three years now. Okay. There were times where I'm like, what is going on? Like where, like, am I going to promote past director? Like I've been a director for three years, you know? And, um, there were times where I was discouraged and I'm hard on myself. And, um, but it's so quick that I snap myself back to reality. Like, no, really stop that because look at the life you have because of Sensi. Look at the people you surround yourself every day because of Sensi. Look at the accomplishments that you're achieving every single day, week, month, year. And so, yeah, the, the milestones are great. Celebrating the big things are great, but celebrating the small things like, man, my like I'm such a more positive person or man, this happened. And I instantly went into solution mode instead of like whining and complaining or like just everything, you know, everything in your life can be celebrated if you have the right mindset. And so I love that Brandy, especially that personal testimony where at first you're like, heck no, like I don't want this lady in my house. Like I don't want any bad news to like, quickly being reminded like look it's not a, it's not about the big things it's about the small things in between the big things and I just love that so much I really do I really do so you guys certified consultants for 14 years yeah I mean they need the sleep to lead program that's what they need though <laughs> just kidding but yes cat the growth with uh, within yourself like to me that's the most like noticeable thing for me personally is I'm a completely different person than I was when I joined so yeah and Taryn I love it I love it and you are teaching us too because you're just doing so amazing yep perspective is everything so you guys thank you so much this went um, longer than, than usual, but I feel like it was very important. And, um, I feel like it gave everyone like the good feels in your heart to just like push forward and, you know, make those small goals and the big goals and celebrate along the way. And like, 
don't we have the most amazing team ever? Like we're all together all the time, working together and sharing things together and um, there for each other. And whether we're on the same like actual team of sponsors and whatever or not, like we're all together. And that's something I love so much. So you guys, Thank you so much. This wraps up our leap to lead. I'm going to uh, post this to YouTube tomorrow morning. Um, we do have something very special, Jen. So thank you. And thank you for taking your time to come talk with us. It means Thanks, so much. Jen. Yes, thank you. So thank you guys for inviting me. Yeah, Jen will thank say one day we'll do like a leadership retreat where we're all flying somewhere and we're spending a whole weekend or four days together as a big huge group. And how amazing does that sound? So yeah, I'll come down to you guys as soon as they open up the borders. Yeah, that sure. would be amazing. Love so it. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to end this video, but thank you so much for spending your Monday with us. We love you guys, and we'll see y'all tomorrow on the team page, okay? All right, bye. bye.